Happy Tuesday. That's right. It's time for this week's video. Get ready. Okay. So let me tell you, I received an email probably two days ago, I think, and um, with a question. And of course, we welcome questions. So please send in your questions or call them into the PowerCast voicemail so we can play them on the PowerCast and uh, or email us for the PowerCast or me directly and I'll either answer directly in an email, send it on to Mike to answer in an email, um, uh, send it on to Mike and Barris so they will answer in a PowerCast uh, or I will answer on a video. And uh, so anyway, I haven't re responded to the email because because of the question. And the question was, uh, Jeff was fasting fulfilled at the cross. And paraphrasing what they're asking was, Jeff was fasting done away with at the cross. And so anyway, there is Old Covenant basis for fasting. It was a practice often used combined with prayer to um, uh, repent from sins or get God to move or do something. And uh, the classic case is probably when David was confronted by the prophet about his affair with Bathsheba and he was told their son would die. David fasted and prayed for 21 days, I believe. I can't remember how long. And um, so that God would save his son. And so he was repenting and fasting and praying. But um, God didn't save his son. His son still died. And when his son died, he went right back to eating. It was the first thing he did. But that was it. during the Old Covenant. That was under the Old Covenant. And the cross was the demarcation line of the end of the Old Covenant and the beginning of the New Covenant. What is the New Covenant? It's a covenant of grace and peace. And so what does that peace or the grace part mean? Because I, I'm, I, the reason I haven't replied to the email yet is because I came from a, a, variety, a varied background in Christianity where in Word of Faith, Pentecostal, Charismatic circles, fasting was a big deal. You did it often. You did it to get God to move. You did it for your own personal faith. You did it for so many reasons. And um, even when I was a Baptist, occasionally there was uh, we 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 would say yes. Uh, there was. Fasting was a benefit, and but it's a personal choice of each individual, and it's up to them, and it's a private matter. And then I, prior to all that, uh, I was raised in Catholicism, and in Catholicism you fasted, and especially you fasted uh, during Lent, which is six weeks, and you gave something up. Um, Either way, in all of these Christian practices, it was somehow to get God to do something, or it was, you know, to do something with your personal faith. But um, this actually is a de direct confrontation to what the Spirit of Grace is, what grace is all about, what this covenant of grace is. And because the covenant of grace is kind of in a way it, it works two ways it 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 works where in in whenever something you do or say or think that was condemned under the old covenant god does not condemn you you are still approved of by god he approves of you and you are still as special as you can be because you are equal 
um, with God, you you have been made equal with Christ Jesus, Son of God. You are um, a brother or a sister to Jesus Christ himself. You can't get any more special, so you can't become less special. And you can't get any more approved of, because, and you also cannot be disapproved of. You cannot be condemned by God for anything you say, think, do, feel, whatever. At the same time, you can't gain any approval from God by whatever you say, think, feel, do. Um, there's no approval you're going to achieve. You're not going to get God to move in any way because of what you do to, to get him to move. Um, you are not going to achieve some sort of special position with him that you don't already have. You're not going to get an approval from him that you don't already have. It goes both ways. What you think, do, say can neither get you condemned by God or approved by God. That's, that's grace. It's revolutionary, I know. Have a revolutionary week.